One of the concepts lost on many musicians is that your release day is the chance to have an eventful news day where you can make a splash people notice that will hopefully ripple far and wide past your release day. But so many people put in a stock plan for their release day where they put up one post on their social media and hope for the best. But there's a few outside the box things you can do on release day that will make your releases go further than the bare minimum in the effort. So in this video, I'm gonna go over a bunch of things you can do to make your single get more listens on release day. Hi, I'm Jesse Cannon, a music marketing nerd who's teaching musicians how to grow their fan base from zero to 10,000 fans. And this is Museformation. So obviously your release day is a day to call attention to yourself. It's that you now have the number one thing that can help your music get more fans, a new song. It's time to call attention to yourself. As well, for those who get shy about promotion, this is essentially your birthday. The day fans will allow you to call attention to yourself and even forgive those annoying story shares and retweets where fans pour adoration on you. Really, this is the one day it's all tolerable. Today is the day to remind people to listen to your track. The more you do it, the more your life may have opportunities. So put the inhibitions in the closet and lean in. And I say this as someone who has to remind themselves to do this. Let's also remember Remember that one of the main ways people end up checking out your music is they feel like they have seen your name enough times that psychologically they feel like they need to know who you are to be able to have conversations with other people they know. And that knowing you will be helpful in the future since they are seeing your name so much they feel the need to know who you are. So when your name comes up with more people sharing it and as people see it in more places, the chance of them investigating and listening to your track becomes more and more likely. So now that we understand this, what do you do? First, we have to take advantage of one of the most under-discussed opportunities musicians don't take advantage of, which is the YouTube premiere. The YouTube premiere has two advantages in that it goes into the subscription feed so that when people are browsing through their feeds looking for something to watch, they have the option to click a reminder and be reminded when your video comes out. This allows your single to create awareness before it's out in the feed and afterwards and increase the chances of it getting heard. But the real advantage it gives you is that you can have a chat in the premiere and do bonding with fans so when they talk to their friends about you and spread the word about your music since they've just learned more about you and have more things to say about you. Just be sure to let all your followers on social media know you'll be hanging out in the chat during the premiere. A nice tweak I like to do is these premieres should happen when your YouTube analytics say the majority of your subscribers are online. Which brings me to tip two which is to remember that social media does not have a perfect time. There are people who read social media in the morning, the afternoon, the evening, and even at midnight, which we also have to remember is 9 p.m. on the West Coast if you're on the East Coast. So since we're allowed to post anything you want, you have to remember you need to post all day long. And this also means at midnight when your song drops, you should make a post and interact with the night owls. Then rise and shine in the morning and get a post up first thing. Then around lunchtime, you need to be there yet again using those analytic tools like we discussed before and make sure you remind everyone to meet you on the chat of the YouTube for the premiere of your new song. And yes, even if you've been linking everybody to your new song on Spotify, and even if it's just a single screen video, you can still do this and you can even do it again when your music video drops. And that brings me to what I love to do for that reminder, which is our third tip, which is to do an Instagram live with any of the producers, mixers, or other collaborators on your song, or if you made a music video, do it with directors or actors or dancers who are in the video. Announce that you'll be doing this and then let the power of Instagram showing all of those people you invite on's followers, seeing your name and getting alerted to you going live. This gives you the chance to answer more fan questions and build those bonds that we always talk about and let new people find out you exist as well. And if you wanna learn more about this, Watch my guide to social media promotion, which is linked in the description below or on the screen now. Next, and I know this is gonna be very shocking if you watch this channel regularly, but I want you to make sure you have a compelling image of yourself, album artwork, or something else that you can tell a story around. As this is the most likely way you can get someone to go from just seeing your post to actually listening to your music, and that's the goal here. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a whole playlist about how to tell stories around your music that's linked below or on the screen right now. Next is the thing you should do once the single is out that so many people forget, which is to go through a list of people who have written about or expressed interest in your music and just check in with them. Ask them how they've been and re-up your relationship with them. And then tell them that you just put out a new track and have a discussion about it. 
Maybe you listen to theirs if they make music as well. If you watch the video linked on the screen now, as well as the description, I go into detail of how I keep track of everyone who likes the artists I work with and make sure they are aware that we're working hard in what we're doing. But the short of that video is that there should be a list that you have of all the people who've ever liked your music and the people you've met, and you should check in with them regularly since the truth is staying on top of people's minds on what to listen to and who to think of for opportunities is half the battle in this business. And if you've reminded people you're working hard they will think of you when it's time for them to do things and lastly i want to leave you with one important philosophy remember literally no song even those songs that blow up on tiktok overnight blow up on release day instead they blow up from consistent sustained promotion when you're continually reminding people to listen to your music so many people reach despair when it's not going well but allow me to remind you of the horrible fact that Lil Nas X has recorded the most popular song of all time. And it did nothing on the first day it was out, but he kept pushing it and telling stories around it until it became the most popular song of all time. Remember the difference in how big your fan base will always be this, how much you push and sustain promotion for nine to 18 months. So don't get down when things aren't changing on release day and keep pushing. Take the temperature after a week of really pushing hard, not a few hours. So as this video comes to a close, I will remind you to like, subscribe, and please get notified as I'm about to drop some of my most important videos in the coming weeks. And I'll be dropping tips just like this consistently. I also say we discuss things like this all the time on my Facebook group, which is linked below if you'd like to join. If you want more videos like this, on the end screen, I have a playlist that tells you how to go from zero to 10,000 fans. I also have one on how to tell stories around your music. Thanks for watching.